Imagine being in the heart of a battlefield, surrounded by the deafening noise of artillery fire, explosions, and the roar of combat. In such a situation, there's one thing that could make all the difference between life and death, survival. Today we're diving into one of the most formidable vehicles designed to keep soldiers safe in the most dangerous environments, the Namer, Israel's heavy armored personnel carrier. This massive machine, often compared to a fortress on wheels, is built not only to withstand attacks but to carry infantry through the chaos of battle. Curious about how it does this? Stay tuned as we reveal the secrets behind this incredible vehicle, its unmatched protection, and its role in shaping modern warfare. Trust me, you won't want to miss this story. The Namer, which means leopard in Hebrew, is one of the heaviest and most protected armored personnel carriers in the world. Developed by Israel, it's based on a highly respected Merkava MK4 tank chassis, which already had a reputation for providing unparalleled protection and combat performance. Combining the strengths of a battle tank with the functionality of an APC, the Namer was born out of the need to create a safer way for soldiers to traverse hostile environments without sacrificing mobility or firepower. Its creation dates back to the early 2000s when Israel's military leaders recognized the growing threat posed by modern weaponry, including anti-tank missiles, mines, and IEDs. The military had already learned painful lessons from previous conflicts, and there was an urgent need to improve the survivability of its infantry. By taking the Merkava tank, a vehicle built for survival in extreme conditions, and transforming it into an APC, the Namer became a solution that could transport troops safely through any danger zone. The Namer's design was aimed at combining the best aspects of both tank and personnel carrier. Its base, derived from the Merkava MK4, ensured that the vehicle could withstand the heaviest impacts, much like a tank, while still offering the agility required for rapid deployment in infantry missions. Unlike other APCs that rely on traditional steel armor, the Namer utilizes advanced composite materials and modular armor that can be updated in the field, making it adaptable to changing threats. Let's take a moment to consider the importance of this design. In combat zones, the safety of soldiers is always a top priority. The Namer offers one of the highest levels of protection, ensuring that those inside can focus on their mission rather than constantly worrying about external threats. The combination of explosive reactive armor, ERA, a reinforced hull, and an active protection system, APS, makes the Namer almost invincible in terms of protection against missiles and RPGs. It's not just about strength though. The Namer also offers impressive mobility. With its 1,200 horsepower engine, the vehicle can travel at speeds of up to 60 km per hour, making it agile enough to move swiftly in urban combat or on rugged terrain. Its advanced suspension system ensures that the vehicle remains stable, even on bumpy or uneven ground. This mobility allows troops to quickly respond to changing battlefield conditions, giving them the upper hand in unpredictable situations. But the Namer's protection doesn't stop with its armor. One of the key features of the vehicle is its Trophy Active Protection System, APS, which is specifically designed to intercept and destroy incoming threats like missiles and RPGs before they can hit the vehicle. This system dramatically increases the vehicle's survivability in the face of modern anti-tank weapons, offering a layer of defense that's as advanced as the vehicles themselves. Moreover, the Namer is equipped with Explosive Reactive Armor, ERA, which provides additional protection against high-explosive anti-tank, heat rounds. The ERA works by detonating on impact, disrupting the penetration capabilities of incoming rounds and thereby reducing the damage they cause to the vehicle's main armor. This added defense is crucial when facing advanced weaponry that could potentially compromise the integrity of the vehicle. Another key design feature is the Namer's V-shaped hull, which is specifically designed to absorb and deflect the blast from landmines and IEDs. In modern warfare, these types of threats have proven to be among the most lethal, often causing devastating casualties to vehicles and their crews. The V-shape disperses the force of the blast, helping to protect the Namer's occupants from fatal injuries or vehicle damage. Inside, the Namer is equipped to carry up to nine infantry soldiers, in addition to its three-man crew. The spacious interior ensures that the soldiers have enough room to move and operate comfortably, even in the most stressful combat situations. This design allows for quick exits and entries, as the soldiers are positioned near hatches that open quickly to allow them to disembark in the heat of battle. The crew, which consists of the driver, the commander and the gunner, works seamlessly together to ensure the vehicle remains fully operational and capable of responding to threats as they arise. Of course, no vehicle is complete without the firepower to match. While the Namer is primarily designed to transport troops, 
It's also equipped with a range of weaponry to protect itself and its passengers. The most notable feature is its remote-controlled weapon station, RCWS, which can mount a variety of weapons, including a heavy machine gun or an automatic grenade launcher. These allow the vehicle to engage threats without putting the crew or soldiers at risk. In addition, the Namer is also equipped with 7.62mm machine guns for close defense, offering a flexible range of offensive and defensive options. Some versions of the Namer are even equipped with an internal mortar system, which provides indirect fire support during operations. This is a versatile addition to the vehicle, allowing it to deliver devastating firepower from a distance when required. In urban warfare, for example, this feature becomes essential when engaging enemy forces that are hiding behind buildings or other cover. Thank <laughs> you.